I had just wanted to do a picture about um, surveying in at the edge of a settlement, you know, where the cities are growing into a desert or a forest or wherever it happens to be. In this case, it was the desert. And you have on the one side the empty land and the other side the geom geometrical surveying, you know, global positioning situation of turning that land into property and all that sort of stuff. So I found, a, I found a place in the desert, and I wanted to do it in the desert, not for any particular reason, maybe because I like, wanted to do a desert landscape. And I found this place called California City, which is north of Los Angeles in the Antelope Valley, about 100 miles. And it was a city that was actually laid out in the 60s by uh, an entrepreneur who hoped to have a, a city of two or 300,000 people there. And he bought all the land for very, very little, enormous tract of land for very little money. He subdivided all the land, paved the streets, put in the fire hydrants, named the streets, create the whole, created the whole urban grid, and nobody showed up. So California City now is a city of like 14,000 people or something in the desert in which most of the land area is completely empty, like you see in the photo, but divided into lots and streets. So it's sort of eerie. And the streets, the asphalt streets have crumbled over time. And you can see in the photograph kind of broken up asphalt road that's leading into the distance. It was a, it was a very fascinating place because it, it, it was a city that never happened. So the surveyors in that case are not surveying new land. They're resurveying an existing property for whatever reason they might have to resurvey it, a pending sale, because all the lots in California City are for sale. And they're not very expensive, as you can imagine. And they do change hands occasionally. And when they change hands or when there's a reason, surveyors go out and just check the, the property lines. It's sort of comic that they do that, but it's also just kind of a beautiful image of people working maybe in, with complete futility in the middle of the desert, which remains just as beautiful as it, as it ever was. So it's just kind of a beautiful poem that I found because of Cal what California City is. Daybreak was made um, like eight years ago, I think, in the context of a project to a, a project that involved about a dozen foreign photographers who were invited to Israel to do what they wanted in term, in, and see Israel as they saw it. So I, by accident again, I, I stumbled on this place, and uh, I stood at that place where the where the camera is now and saw the scene that you see, essentially. And of course, what was striking was the juxtaposition of the olive grove, olive orchard, with the prison up on the hill behind. It's just one of those astonishing, you know, collages that life throws up. And, you know, prisons have to be somewhere. So that one was there, and that farm was right beside it, and, uh, and the juxtaposition just seemed too powerful. But not only just too powerful, because I'm not interested in powerful things, just a beautiful landscape, just a wonderful landscape of desert and hill and the building coming across and the beautiful green of the, of the, uh, of the olive trees. But moreover, the workers who were Bedouins who slept outdoors, which they don't mind doing. I mean, it's traditional, but the farm was very small and didn't have a barracks or anything like that, and they, they were only there for a few weeks, I suppose, and the farmer couldn't afford to build a special building for them, so they just slept, as they quite often do out, outdoors, and I encountered them at the end of the night, at the end of the day, getting ready to um, go to bed, because they go to bed when it's dark, and they get up when it's light, uh, and I... Uh, I thought it was a beautiful scene, also with the colors of their stuff, their blankets and all that, just made a lovely composition.